Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's Burr video. Going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's Burr video. Day 10 takes us to the 8th of May and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the XHF Airs and ECM Ensembles. Make my travel of weeks. Have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Gets us into the last stages of May uh, now, I think. So I shall get on that for you in a moment, just say back the first uh, video sales, our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast, and uh, we've also released a little update for early May bank holiday as well. So check out those two bits if you'd like to do that. Like, share, and subscribe on all today's uh, videos and content. And thank you, Church everyone, for dear Matt for Gaz. Well, we hope having a lovely, lovely Tuesday. And thank you so much to my good friend Neil Smith. Thank you so much, Neil, for your donation uh, to uh, Gaz. Well, this and the very kind and lovely, sweet message that you. Uh, sent to me with that donation as well. We're going to keep gas where it's going. Don't worry, my friend. Uh, but it's down to a very kind, generous, lovely people like yourself, Neil. Uh, I'm able to keep keep you know gas where it's going alongside uh, the second job that I'm doing as well. So uh, I just thank you so much, my friend. You've given uh, so much to gas where gas where it's you know over the years. So um, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much to. Uh, to Neil. If you would like to give a donation to Gaz Weathers, all you need to do is come to Gaz's PayPal page, or the link's in the description, sign into your PayPal account, uh, and then, you know, uh, just uh, give whatever you would, would, would like, whatever donation you would like, and we'll give a shout out in the visit. It's helping to pay for the channel and the content. Along with the advertisements that run with the videos and uh, YouTube uh, channel membership, uh, super thanks, super chat, all of that uh, good stuff, you know, it's helping to pay for the channel. So thank you so, so much to all of you for getting involved and supporting uh, Gaz, we Gaz Weathervis. And a special thank you to uh, Neil. Thank you so much, my friend. Uh, right, okay, let's start the video then. We're going to begin with the latest one from that from Earth, Nolschool.net, showing that high pressure is building up from the south again today. Got a nice area of high pressure. It's pushed up from the south and it's bringing the wind into more of a southerly direction. So temperatures on the rise, and by the time you get through to about Thursday, which you believe, you might see the temperature knocking on the door about 30 degrees in London, uh, according to the latest uh, UKB run. So 30 degrees is 86 Fahrenheit on the 1st of May. That would be quite remarkable. Uh, central temperature up to yesterday, the uh, 26th of... Uh, no, hang on. Ba -ba 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 -ba. No, uh, that is central temperature. I didn't update yesterday. So, central temperature up to Saturday is uh, 26th, is still sitting at 10.3. That's 2.4. For some reason, it didn't update yesterday. Hopefully, it'll update today. We'll be able to bring that to you tomorrow. Right, move on that quite quickly. <laughs> Get out of that one, guy. Get yourself out of that one. Um, the, this is how the uh, GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles are looking for the next uh, couple of weeks. So, we're at Brighton today, home of uh, my good friend Neil. We'll have a look at uh, his uh, location. Um, right, so, uh, we're starting off above average, significantly above average, with the upper air temperatures over the next week or so. We do see them coming down quite markedly as we go over the bank holiday weekend though and um then we're hovering close to the long-term 30-year average so you know big big old warm-up end of april into the beginning of may and then uh, down we go with the upper air temperatures as we go further on through the first week of May. Notice thick green line which is the gfs uh, midnight operational run is one of the uh, coldest members or coolest members of the GFS Ensemble Suite. There is a bit of scatter. We have still got some quite warm ensemble members up here, but uh, many of them are uh, cooling down from the first week into the second week of May. Substantial wise, lots of dry weather to come till we get to uh, the back holiday weekend, then a little bit more unsettled, and then rather showery after that. First week into second week, mate. It doesn't look overly wet, but it does look a little bit more showering than uh, like it is, you know, at the moment. Temperature anomalies for the next five days, taking us to the 3rd of May, very substantially above average. We're talking about anomalies of about uh, six, seven degrees above average in those deep red colours there. So, well, goodness gracious me, very uh, warm to start off with. The six to ten day. 
temperature anomaly. Still a bit above average, but certainly coming down quite a bit. And then the 10th of fourteen day temperature anomaly comes down even further. In fact, might hint by the 12th of May that we're going a little bit below average with the GFS ensemble. So actually, most parts of Europe having quite a big cool down as well. Precipitation anomaly for the next seven days, up to 5th of May, looking a drier than normal. The 8 to 14 day precipitation on to the 12th of May also comes out dry of an average as well. Right, here we go then. Uh, chart data starting off with the latest UK bet. Euro run high and dry on Thursday. I think Thursday is the peak temperatures. Uh, could get to 30 degrees in central London. Start to cool down as high pressure begins to locate to the west of the UK and Ireland on Friday. Something a little bit cooler beginning to filter in from the north. And then into the back Friday weekend, a lot of dry weather to come, but a repositioning of high pressure to the west and to the northwest allow something just a little bit cooler to come in uh, from the east and from the north east. So temperatures lowering through the bank Friday weekend but a lot of uh, dry weather to come. A bit weaker with pressure down in the south so there might be some showery bursts down in the south there but I think overall that's probably quite a dry bank holiday. Okay, Icon again with high pressure dominating the scene on Thursday into uh, Friday and Saturday. Well, high pressure still in control but probably turns a little bit cooler than that high pressure. Um, essentially, we're high and dry through the bank holiday weekend and even, you know, beyond that, high pressure still in control. It gets us actually to midday next uh, ne next Monday. That's bank holiday Monday with high pressure way to the north where winds coming in from a gentle sort of northerly direction right the kma uh again plenty of high pressure through the uh bank holiday weekend in control in the ascendancy the high pressure going further north was but you know so it allows things to cool down a bit from the east and from the north east but essentially it's still looking very dry there all the way up to the 10th of May. there's no sign of anything particularly unsettled to come there could be some showery bursts of course here or there but uh, basically high pressure is ruling the roof from kma as well right well this high pressure fest going to carry on with gfs let's have a look at midnight run so winds again coming up for a southerly southeast direction on thursday that's peak with a uh, peak day would be Upper air tents, 10 cells ice firm is there in the south. Uh, then the high pressure sort of relocates just to west northwest country by uh, Friday and Saturday. Started to just turn a little bit cooler in that area of high pressure. And then further on through the back on the weekend, the high pressure goes further north. So, ooh, oh, just not the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Watch what you're doing with your, with your hands and your arms, Gab. It's those arm movements again that you don't get on the BBC. But you don't normally see me doing them when I'm off camera, but I do do them. A lot of people, I know a lot of people when I do Friday night live streams, and I, I say, you know, oh, you're going to see the arm movements now. A lot of people think that I'm putting that on, you know, just for the Friday streams. But I do do. I am moving around here off camera with the hands and the arms. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that you don't see me doing it unless I knock something like I did just there when I uh, hit the microphone. Uh, anyway, uh, 5th of May. So high pressure event is becoming a blocking feature around Green and Iceland and in comes this north and northeasterly. So it turns more unsettled over Bank Holiday and Kent to the middle of next week. Check that out. Proper up northerly, northeasterly is starting to set, set in. Right, by sales isotherm. Would you believe down across southern England? I think that's over the top. I don't think we get the minus five cells ice well to the south coast on the 7th of May. But you never know. I mean, it's a possibility, but I think that's over top. But anyway, it turns a lot cooler, if not colder, uh, next week with low pressure to our east, block out to the west, and winds coming in from that northerly direction at day 10. Beyond that, well, it turns milder, winds shift around to west sea, but it still is quite unsettled there uh, with the GFS big type. So certainly a cooler and more unsettled GFS uh, big night operation but what about the six there eh? Again, we draw up that subly wing on Thursday. Lots of dry and warm weather with that. Then the high pressure is away to the northwest as we go through Bank Holiday Weekend. So mostly dry, but starting to cool down with winds shifting around to north northeasterly direction. Day 10, bit of a hint of an orderly starting to uh, set in. Uh, but not as much uh, with that uh, northerly as the uh, as the midnight run had. And basically, high pressure just comes back in again by the middle of May. Once again, we're looking pretty high and dry then. 
If you're enjoying the video, please can you like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you everyone for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let's know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell friends about guys. Always get to subscribe to show show everyone for doing that. About 60 subscribers will get us to 19.7k. Uh, so if you could give us a sub, that'd be awesome. Thanks so much, everyone. Hope you're having, hope you're having a lovely Monday. Right, a GM once again with high pressure. Dominating the weather uh, over the uh, rest of this week into Bank Holiday Weekend. Well, winter pressure was out, could produce some rain there. High pressure up towards Iceland, and we're starting to draw in more of an, uh, more of an east north east. So, so, so turning cooler with the uh, gem and a uh, lot of drying over north, a little bit showery in the south. By the end of the gem, it uh, gets us to the 8th of May. We're back under high pressure at 1,030 millibars. Blimey. And then the east gem. <coughs> <laughs> looks like this, I'm oh, sorry, if the East Ham looks like this, rounding it all off, um, we have a lot of warm weather on Thursday, then uh, we're a bit cooler uh, Friday, Saturday, but still at a high pressure, so mainly dry, and those mostly dry conditions may carry on uh, around days 8, 9, 10, the high pressure gradually inching away to the northwest, so, so cooler air gradually filtering into that high pressure, but it's not till just beyond day 10, 9th of May, but we start to open the door to what could be quite a cold dish, uh, uh, certainly very cool, northerly, northeasterly. Now, second week of May shows a big change. Winds in from the north and from the northeast. And it's unsettled as well with this uh, trough of low pressure over top of the country. So a block around green and ice and trough of low over country. And um, though a lot cooler, if not quite cold for the north, and unsettled with that as well under that trough of low pressure. Mississippi precipitation broadcast based on that East Chevron from uh, Tometro.com. Oh, we got uh, some heavy showers to come later on in the week. That's Thursday to Friday. Uh, could be a few thundery downpours then, triggered by the heat and humidity. But otherwise, a lot of dry weather on the way uh, for the next 10 days. A few showery bursts here and there. But many places, I think, will have no measurable rain again in the next 10 days. So the dry spell continues. These are the ops on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10. Gets us to the 8th of May from ECMDF.inc today. They haven't updated, the clusters haven't updated at the Icelandic Met Office. We've got 16 members of the ECM ensemble with high pressure to our west and northwest at day 10. Chop through here and winds coming in from a rather cooler northwesterly direction. We have got 14 just here with high pressure more or less over country. That draws up the wind from quite a warm southerly southeasterly direction. And then we've got nine with high pressure uh, between Scotland and Norway. Winds will be coming in, coming in from an easterly direction. So, uh, that could bring some showery dishes into the south, but it's still mostly dry in many areas. We've got nine looking a lot more unsettled, though, with uh, quite a deep uh, area of low pressure to our east, and a block around Greenland that pulls the wind into the north. And uh, then we have got three, my not very small minority option, with low pressure to the north and bringing like a flat westerly flow. So there's a range of options at day 10 there. Um, a bit of uncertainty, actually, as we get towards... Um, uh, 10 days out. And then two time, these are the options that we've got. This gets us to the 13th of May. 30 members of the ECM on soils with high pressure just to our west. Winds are coming in from a westerly northwest direction. Oh, mostly dry. Could be showery in the east of the north and quite chilly. And then we have got 21 with high pressure between, um, between Scotland and Iceland, mostly dry with that, but could be a bit of a cool side winds in uh, from the east. Bit of uncertainty there, especially around day 10. CFS finally beats a 500 millibar high tone. It's broken down into wheat pits. The first wheat pit takes, takes us from the 28th of April to the 4th of May. Star Wars Day, of course. <laughs> high pressure dominates across the country. Pretty loads of dry weather with it. Of course, starting off very warm. Week 2 will be the 5th to the 11th of May. High pressure going slightly into retrograde with a top of low in over Scandinavia. It had to be there somewhere, didn't it? Winds in uh, from a northwesterly direction. Mostly dry. Could be a bit on the cool side with that one. Week 3 
Yay! We'll be the talk to the 18th of May, high pressure ridging in the Atlantic and going north, top of Lowing towards northern, uh, northern Scandinavia. A bit of a ridge around Denmark as well, actually. So, of course, like the trough there and the block there, going to try to bring down the northerly, but the uh, ridge around Denmark is going to try to maintain like a southerly, southeasterly flow. So that gets quite complicated by the third week. And then finally, week four, it's the 19th to the 25th of May. With low pressure out in the Atlantic, and that's bringing bringing us a westerly flow. So looking quite unsettled there with that low. We shall see. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much for doing that. Why not drop a comment and uh, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Weathers and get them to subscribe too. And we thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, right, so tomorrow, we're going to have a 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. And there'll be a 10 to 14 day as well. I might do a, the um, Excel European Outlook tomorrow because uh, I'm at work today and I'm, I'm off, I've got a day off tomorrow. So uh, I've got a bit of time tomorrow. I might do Excel European Outlook. But uh, I'll let you know anyway tomorrow. You'll see tomorrow what's uh, happening. But certainly 6 a.m. forecast and a 10 to 14 day uh, on the way, so keep checking back to the channel for more. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday, make the most of this uh, lovely, lovely sunshine, and we'll see you again with more very, very soon. For this one, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.